My name is Paul Parker. I'm a professor emeritus at the University of Waterloo, where we have the uh, aviation program. The reason that we wanted to look at the Pipistrel Electro is very simple. Our students. The students said they want to fly and they don't want carbon. Electric aviation gives us the opportunity to look at that and the Pipistrel is the first certified electric plane in the world looking at this training market. So yes, the good news is the plane has been certified in Europe now for four years. So 30 countries, mostly European, but others have also certified it. And of course, we're interested from the Canadian perspective. So what is the standard cruise setting? 25 kilowatts. Uh, you can push it a little higher, you know, go a little faster. And in fact, you can cruise all the way up to 35, 36 is max cruise, but then you're cutting back your time. So now it's a question of, do you want speed or time? It not only cuts our carbon emissions, it cuts our lead emissions, it reduces our noise, and uh, I hope that it will actually enable more people to be able to fly uh, at lower cost. The simplicity of the technology is the nicest thing. It's really, com internal combustion engines are a great marvel. They've kept us flying for a long time, but they are complicated. And the electric motor is really a very simple system. The endurance limitation of the batteries that is absolutely an issue now, but battery technology is getting a huge investment and investment that helps the automotive industry is going to help the aviation industry. So to me, is this useful now? I think so. I just look at the smile on my students' faces when they come back having completed their flights. Yes, the flights are short, uh, but they're insightful and we're going to see networks and electric trails and you'll have sustainable aviation tours where you know you can think about flying along to your favorite sites uh, with just using electrons rather than gas. So thanks for coming out today to see us. Again, this is the University of Waterloo, Waterloo Wellington Flight Center partnership. We hope that this is just the beginning of a very exciting future for electric aviation in Canada.